Hi everyone, it's Kieran Ovisappen from Filmstorm Studios and today I'm really excited to show off a new thing I've been working on and it's a fully fledged climbing system um, all made with a simple C script and uh, as you can see I've just got it on a simple player and it's like nice and clean, it's like hardly anything I'm gonna probably put a few more variables to adjust in here um, but as you can see all it needs is a character controller and the animator and if we expand the player, you can see there's nothing in there except for our film storm um, camera that we've made in a previous tutorial. You can find that, I think it's um, camera collision tutorial on Unity. Um, and as you can see, that's pretty much the only other script. You've got the camera base, the camera collision script, and also just that camera follow to set that up. And then inside here, we just have the player locomotion, which moves our character. We've got the animator that has the animations um, system set up. As you can see, we've got some some blends, um, and we've also got our hanging system. Uh, and at the moment, I'm just using Mixamo's pretty much hanging system because I haven't had the time to go into the mocap studio to film um, other stuff. And oh, you probably can. There you go. That way, you can actually see what the um, the stuff's happening. So if you press play, I have it set up with an idle blend tree, and then you can either go left or right. And then inside, say like the right one, you can also be either um, hanging, like braced, or you can also be um, down, so like free hanging. So there's a, no wall there. So I bet you're probably pretty keen to see how it looks. So let's jump in and as you can see, all we have in the world is you just need normal objects, um, put them on a, a new layer called wall. And for the ledges, you just need to create game objects and create a tag called climb and a layer climb and that's it and then you can just go around putting all your ledges and everything everywhere and as you can see um, down well, like on this bottom bottom side here we've got the controller and you'll be able to see what I'm pushing and you can see everything is fully supported by the controller as well as the mouse and keyboard so let's just press play alrighty so we're moving the camera around with our right stick as you can see, it's got full collision with the environment. So you can come up, it's got clamping up and down. You can see I'm not stopping, it's, it's fully nice. So that's that's the Filmstorm camera system. You can get that for free. All right, so now let's run towards this wall. And as you can see, we grabbed on. And here we go. As you can see, it also supports angles and going around corners. So he's always looking at the face. And the angles can also be quite um, dramatic. And he'll go around this corner. And then you'll see here, when we get to this free hanging spot, he's actually gonna blend into a hang. So he knows when he's hanging. And you can also speed up on ledges by tapping the A button. And now you can, we'll push up and he's detected there's a ledge above him. You can press A and we'll jump in, he'll blend back to being on the wall. Now we have two options, we can go up or down, so let's go up, and oh, let's go over a little bit, and up, and he'll go into a free hang, and we'll come down, there we go. And he'll also just go into a free hang, and it also, I need to clean up the transition, but he'll, he, it stops movement um, when there's no more ledge. It just kind of, it's a little bit jarring at the moment. He kind of just abruptly stops his animation. So just need to clean that up. But as you can see, you can also speed along the edge by pressing A and let's go up. And let's zoom across here. And you go, let's go down a few ledges. All right. And I've tried to make the system like look a lot better than that other climbing system I made. Um, I think it was a few videos ago. Uh, but at the moment, it's looking pretty good. It needs a bit of polish. Have, there's absolutely no IK running at the moment. Um, so that's why the hands aren't moving towards the wall. They kind of, it's just pure animation. Um, so let's move up to this ledge. All right. Up. Cool. All right, let's jump down. Cool. And let's jump back up. 
And as you can see, if we jump up to these ledges, we'll be able to pull ourselves up. So push up and cool. Let's see if we can grab onto this ledge. Yep. All right, and we can come around this corner. We can also drop down. Yep. And we can jump back up, can we? Nope. So you know, we kind of broke the system there a bit. Um, that's one other thing I need to fix up is the actual, um, when you're speed jumping, there is a potential to actually jump past the ledge. So that's, it should be fairly simple. We just have to, um, to uh, stop the, um, the climbing and just go into a fall. So we'll jump up here, jump across. And as you can tell, it's um, fully, um, fully coded. So if I can jump out of this control, let's come over to this side so you can see we've got the inspector over here. If we collapse the environment, there's just heaps of ledges everywhere. If we collapse the environment, you can see there's no other things being created except for this temporary rotator, which just um, lets the angle go up or down. Um, and it was also an experimental 360 degree um, movement, which I'm going to probably put in at some stage for um, short objects. So say there's a beam in between, he'll automatically move uh, between the two. Yeah, so that's pretty much uh, where the climbing system's up to right now. Um, I'm gonna be releasing this on gum mode. Uh, I just need to get my own animations made first. That should only be uh, a couple of days I'm going down to the mocap studio pretty soon. So I'll be able to get those done up. Um, and then I'll probably put up the pre-release because I know lots of people have been asking about this. And then um, I'm going to keep developing it. Uh, I'm going to do uh, in-between ledge movements. So say uh, we've got this ledge and this ledge. Um, if you're on this ledge, you can quick hop and it will automatically jump over to this ledge. Uh, we'll put in short ledge movements so you can mo um, move between the short ledges automatically, kind of like Uncharted. He, put, he puts his hand out and uh, reaches for it. So we're going to do something like that. And um, also just clean up the, the general animation uh, flow. And so that time I was using the controller, uh, let me just run it with the mouse. You're not actually going to see anything move here. So um, got the keyboard. Let's try the, these ledges over here. So you can see the same thing. We can jump up, pull ourselves up. And let's try and jump for this one. There we go. Cool. And go into the fall. And jump up here. And as you can see, it's all... It all works exactly the same way. You can quickly move between the two of them and pull ourselves up here, move across here. And let's quickly traverse this ledge and jump up here. Jump for this ledge and he grabs onto it. Uh, that's one thing with the, the system so far. You need to make sure these ledges, see how there's that little tiny bit of the black uh, surface poking through? Um, it needs to actually have this. And you can see the whole, all the, the gizmos running. So it's detecting um, this. And if I pause it to hold it. Okay, so you can see that this, this blue ledge is being detected up here. So that way, when we reach up, it says, yes, there's a ledge so he can move up. And it's also detecting this ledge down, which means, yes, you can move down. Uh, this green line's keeping him at a certain distance from the wall. And this black one's actually casting a raycast. Well, all of them are raycast, but this one's casting a normal raycast. So that way he'll basically position his axis to the negative um, direction of whatever the normals return. So that way if a normal is paired with a negative normal, it's actually gonna be looking directly at each other. Um, and that's how we keep them in line with the ledge. Um, so yeah, that's basically how that whole system works. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're super keen for this to come out. I'm pretty keen. I'm pretty happy that I actually managed to, to make it all, all pretty nice. Uh, it's just under a thousand lines of code, um, nicely condensed. Uh, and I'm just gonna put a few more variables in here for you to tweak, like speed and different move settings. Um, and if I click, the, did I actually have the, the player selected? So you can see the, um, the player. Yeah, so if you see the, um, the actual player controller, 
you can see that the player controller perfectly sticks onto the onto the ledge. So we're not using any custom controllers. You don't have to download anything else. Uh, when you get the package, it's just all going to run uh, the right way. As you can see, that that kind of glitched out there as well. So a bit more refinement to do, but it's pretty good for a first pass, I think. Um, but thank you everyone for watching. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know or any um, suggestions, just pop them down. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. See ya.